Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before starting the video, please go ahead and hit the subscribe button and give this video a like up. General Hospital sets the stage for an exciting plot arc as Walt Willie makes his entrance into the series as Jack Montgomery. The legal drama around Drew Kane is about to take an unexpected turn, drawing parallels to a previous plot from All My Children, AMC. We delve into the implications of this new development, exploring the potential outcomes for Drew, and how Jack Montgomery could be the key to resolving the insider trading case. The following is a transcript from a new General Hospital video. Watch the video in the article, and be sure to check us out on YouTube as well. Hey there, General Hospital fans, we've got some breaking news. We've figured out why Jack Montgomery from All My Children is coming to General Hospital. We have sussed out what we believe is Walt Willie's first plot, his only plot, the plot that's revealed of why they have brought him from Pine Valley to Port Charles. Alright, so we already know for sure that actor Walt Willie, famous for All My Children playing Jack Montgomery, that everybody called Jack, is coming to General Hospital. He's going to breathe new life into the role of Jack Montgomery for a stint on GA. But why? Why are they bringing this Pine Valley lawyer onto the show? Well, things are about to change next week that are going to explain very succinctly that it ties back in almost just very similitude to a plot on All My Children years ago. So if you don't remember Jack, he was one of Erica Kane's favorite husbands, and he's a top-notch attorney. And he's got some case history that could help a Port Charles local who's in a legal dilemma. So there's this huge twist next week for Drew Kane. We're pretty sure this is what is driving the Jack Montgomery All My Children slash General Hospital crossover and why they hired Walt Willie for this arc. So if you're not an AMC watcher or if you don't remember, we're just going to give you a two-second recap. Back in 2008 on All My Children, Erica Kane, played masterfully of course by Susan Lucci, was caught insider trading and there was a scandal. She was sent to prison. They even had billionaire investor Warren Buffet show up on one of these AMC episodes. He's the Oracle of Omar. If you didn't know that, he's a billionaire. He's this master stock picker. All right, so he showed up to visit Erica while she was in prison and tried to help her. But instead, it was her ex. I think they were divorced at that time. They married more than once, but she was still stewing behind bars until Jack Montgomery helped get her out. He was able to get Erica released early, and then Erica came back home to Pine Valley. So, in very similar circumstances, Drew Kane's lawyer, Zake Robinson, worked out a deal to get him. A plea deal if he would plead guilty to insider trading, and he decided he was going to do this to protect Carly. So, Zeke worked out a deal with the DA or the state attorney general, whoever is handling it, where Drew will serve six months at Cushy Spring Ridge. Remember, that's the low-key prison where Esmond served some time and Spencer got to serve out, I think, the last part of his sentence or the first part of it, one part of his sentence. At any rate, at Spring Ridge, it's a much nicer place. That's where Heather Weber got to visit with her daughter Esmond. So, as presents go, it's not bad. Six months isn't that bad. Drew figures he can do that. He can be away from Scab for that long, and he'll keep Carly Corintha Spencer with her kids. However, the judge in his case decides to make an example out of Drew Kane and tosses out the pee deal. In case you didn't know this, the way a plea deal generally works is you plead guilty either to a few of the charges or to a lesser charge. But basically, a plea deal is where you render a guilty plea and your lawyer negotiates a more lenient sentence for you. Not wasting the court's time by having to have a trial and all this kind of stuff. The trick is that the agreement is between your defense lawyer and the district attorney and there is no guarantee that the judge has to accept the deal. 